To develop strategies that control and reduce human-made emissions, we first need information on where the emissions come from. Emissions are generated from a wide range of sources, such as cars, trucks, and factories. These sources are divided into three categories, stationary, area, and mobile sources. Let's look at the differences between these categories. Stationary sources, sometimes referred to as point sources, are non-moving producers of air pollution and greenhouse gas emissions. Some examples of stationary sources include power plants, refineries, and manufacturing facilities. These sources never change location, so while their emissions are strongly affected by weather and landscape, the same communities around them are always exposed to their emissions. Area or area-wide sources are those that are spread over large areas. Some examples include emissions from unpaved roads and agriculture. Mobile sources are movable producers of air pollution and greenhouse gas emissions. Some examples of mobile sources include cars, trucks, construction equipment, boats, and ships. In most cases, air quality agencies develop strategies to reduce emissions by these source categories. Sometimes multiple source categories operate at a single location. For example, rail yards and ports may have mobile source trucks operating alongside stationary source equipment. With the adoption of AB 617, air quality agencies are continually looking for better ways to address complex emission sources. We measure the effectiveness of programs and regulations that reduce air pollution and greenhouse gas emissions over time against established goals. Grouping sources by category is essential to this process. Local, state, and federal agencies use these categories to account for how much each source emits. The collection of all these sources and associated emissions is called an emissions inventory. More information on California's emissions inventories will be provided in subsequent videos.